So I'm Robin, I'm a sound designer and product owner at Impulse Auto Lab and passionate musician, music producer. Before working at uh, the automotive industry and sound designing for electric vehicles, I've been mainly working in the movie industry and uh, I was basically assistant for composers who did scores to television and some commercials and this kind of th things. So um, at the time I was applying for this job, the company was very small. I think we were five people and um, a friend of mine got hired uh, and he was sending in an application which basically said, I don't have any idea about Max and I don't have any idea about corporate work in that sense with big uh, car companies, but here's a link to my SoundCloud. He got actually invited to an interview and the people were super nice and uh, appreciating his music a lot. And that was basically giving him the entrance to this job where as my, my friend was there, um, he was advertising for me. And uh, I guess a year later, I was invited as well. And Basically, it's the same story. A lot of things, we didn't check the boxes, that's that's for sure. But we had this intuition about designing sounds with a specific quality. The transition from incorporating my work in Max in a professional sense and learning it was in my case, mostly at the same time, you know, I was, I was getting familiar with the, the essentials of Max thinking about electric driving sounds. And I went home after work doing wild things with it and, and work trying to make useful stuff. However, the projects and the scope was almost shared and I was really happy and lucky to have projects which suits perfect for learning. So the main project I'm currently doing uh, for Impulse Audio Lab is developing the DAW for electric driving sounds called the EVX Suite. There is almost no tool at the market yet, which is on the same level of usability as in modern DAWs. All of this is more based on the physical concepts of how combustion engines work or what types of synthesizers we found useful in the years of developing these sounds and you can just play with it in the same sense as you would play with Max. Driving sounds previously were these combustion engines, right? They had a signature sound, they had like this kind of firing sequence. And uh, then the car insulation got much better and people were not annoyed by the street no noises anymore, but they were lacking the nice sound that the engine produced. So this is when they started to carefully compute sounds that go on the vehicle data and they basically synthesize single harmonics of an engine sound. They're very easy to calculate. You just divide the RPM by 60 and you have a hertz. However, now that we have the electric vehicles where there's no engine noise, you had to start thinking of how could a sound sound like for this vehicle without this physical input. And as you can do anything, you can actually implement this spaceship in your SUV. Or it could be uh, conveying the idea of the heritage combustion engine sound. So it is very much related to Max in a sense that all of this started as wild patches we were sketching interactive algorithms, synthesizers, effect boxes, resonators that sort of resemble the exhaust pipes. So all of this is kind of inspired by the physics of a real engine sound, but it was transported to be able to be used for electric driving sounds. So we did tests running in our demonstration car, and uh, this thing could save presets, recall presets, not only in Macs, but on the desktop, anything that a real software would do. This was the most gigantic Max project I've ever been working on. How to get from the Max prototype version to an actual implementation and to port this it is a process of looking at the patch, obviously, in a very detailed fashion and looking at every single object. Because the Max patch will be almost like a schematic, it doesn't necessarily have to be coded the exact same way, but with the objects that we were using, most of the stuff is DSP essential. The software developers were able to just replace bit by bit. So there is a gradual change from starting Max only, going over Max with 
maybe script like things gen or javascript to replacing this module with an external that was developed and trying to see if the output is still the same and then eventually to also redo the ui the implementation natively was surprisingly fast because it all was discovered. Like there were no experiments we had to do outside of Max. And so that is kind of also the border for me where I would advise to use Max until that stage. When it comes to making bigger projects, the best practice I would say is separating between user interface elements and the DSP code, uh, because this will save you a lot of processing because you're only working on message rate a lot of times. And then just at the very end, you turn it into an audio signal and it will keep your patches quite clean, reusable and plugging one sub patch in another patch will be quite easy. In the automotive space, there is one really uh, important concept, which is actually psychoacoustically. And uh, this is the concept of the shepherd tone. And anyone working on electric driving sounds will be very familiar with it. Um, it comes from the necessity of designing sounds which sort of pitch up according to the acceleration of the vehicle and the problem of missing gear shift, which there are not. Uh, so in, in the actual vehicle, you would not shift down um, like in a combustion engine. And so this is a very common thing. Besides that, most of the things are, well, essentially additive synthesis. The whole concept is evolving around shaping a sound according to data from a car. And uh, there is a lot of parameters that control EQs, filters, gain stages. And um, yeah, I, I'd say this is the butter and bread of driving sound development. To me, Max was very useful because I was not necessarily using it only for musical applications. So if you're thinking about sound design or musical sound design, that could be ambient music or stuff that is just experimental, all of a sudden you can find yourself engineering and being clever and coming out with a result that is purely subjective. 